At G Aerospace, our new commercial engines deliver 10 to 15% better fuel burn than the previous generations. But what's really important to the airlines is the durability of our products. Our journey to develop technology that can validate engines in dusty and hot environments goes back almost 20 years. And it took us until the GNX engine testing where we could validate the product in the same way that we see in the field. We didn't know if we would be able to have the level of confidence confidence on the leap that we did on the GNX. The first few dust tests that we ran on the leap showed exactly what we see in the field. That is critical to then being able to both understand, fix, and validate the issues that you see in the fleet. One of the key lessons that we have learned from the GENX and the LEAP programs is to test early and test often. With this test data, we have been able to make improvements to the engine and validate them in an environment that simulates the real world. The GE9X engine is the first engine to complete a dust ingestion test prior to entry into service. With that dust ingestion test behind us, we are not finished and we are planning for more. The middle part of the engine where you combust the fuel is a very hot part of the engine with very high airflow pressures. GE has significantly advanced the technologies to actually do that with ceramic matrix composites and other novel ways of cooling the components in the airflow path to sustainable temperatures and get high durabilities. If you don't do the open fan and you still want to get to a 20% fuel efficiency improvement, you can't get it out of the fan, so you need to get it out of that hot part of the engine and get even higher temperatures and higher pressures. That will put a tax on the overall durability of the engine. So the open fan architecture is enabling a new level of performance without taxing that durability. 